Hey guys, and how about we play Pokemon Omega Ruby version? So, yeah, 3DS. So, last time I asked you guys what you thought I should name my Pikachu, and a lot of you I found out are saying Sparky. Like, a lot of you are agreeing on Sparky as being a good nickname. Um, I actually like that name. A lot of people use this, so it might be considered kind of cliche. Um, but I like it. I'm not going to name her yet, but I will keep it in mind. So, let's see. The, that contest was excellent. Let me see Pokemon giving their all to impress the crowd like that. It makes me feel alive. Of course, I saw how hard you were trying, too. <gasps> I got a berry! Oh, good. Also, this time we're gonna head north, up Slateport, or from Slateport. We're not gonna do more contests, so... Yeah, even though, again, I love contests, two episodes would be too much in a row. I was watching the contest just now, and it was amazing! I'm so jealous. I wish I could perform like that. Well, maybe if you had cool Pokémon. Oh, I don't even have a contest pass, though. And that's why I want you to give it your all for me, too. Here, take this. Another... A wiki berry! What's a wiki berry? Full of information, I guess? Let me just... Skip, skip. I appreciate your coming down from the mountains. And a blockberry, like black. I get it. Alright, well that's cool. I'm leaving then. Oh, so I will stop by the PC, um, so I can actually put Pikachu in there, because for now, I don't want Pikachu in my combat party. I have decided that. As cool as it is, after the initial, like, surprise of that situation has passed, um, no, I'd rather save my actual combat slot for a different Pokemon. So for now, again, that's awesome. I love that. It's fantastic. Um, no, I'm gonna hold on for another Pokemon. So, we're going to move on now. Let's see up this way, because, again, no gym here, so... Now that we can actually move north, we might as well see what's up here. Route 110. What do you have to say, person? Person? There we go. Which should I choose? Make a beeline for Monvo on the cycling road, or take the low road and look for Pokemon? Oh, good! This actually is where I might be able to get one of the Pokemon that I want for my team, because I kind of want an Electric, because I like Manectric. Manectric is awesome. So, now you know. But let's see, what kinds of Pokemon will I- Oh, hey! An Electric appeared! Awesome! But I wonder if I could find a special one. I think I want to take the time to try to find one where you have to use a magnifying glass, you know, that kind of thing. Not necessarily a high level, like, super special one, but just maybe one with, like, an egg move or a different ability, that kind of deal. So, give me a minute. There it is. There it is. There it is. I can reach it! You can do it! Come on! I don't even know what that is. A little glowy ball? What's a little glowy ball doing in the grass? Hmm. Oh, it's a Voltorb! Alright, well, I don't really want a Voltorb, not for my team, but I can try to catch it at least. So how do I want to catch it? I think any of these attacks will knock it out. Let's just try a Pokeball. So, Pokeballs? Pokeball. Use! Might as well see if it'll work. If not, we're gonna have to switch out for sure and use like a low-level attack from someone else. Ah, dang it. Alright, fine. So we got the Voltorb. I switched to Little Sap and had Poison Powder and Leech Seed take down its health. So yay! Voltorb was first sighted at a company that manufactures Pokeballs. The link between the sighting, or that sighting, and the fact that this Pokemon looks very similar to a Pokeball remains a mystery. Hmm. So is it a natural Pokemon? Because to evolve in such a way would be odd. And how did it actually evolve? And I mean like in terms of kind of Darwinian evolution. And how would a Pokemon... Or how would its pre-evolution looked? That kind of thing. I don't know. Anyway. Oh. What's this? Alright. Let's keep going through Route 110 and head for Mount Chimney. It'll be quite a long journey. Let's take a rest in Marvel City, which is on the way. I concur. I am a woman. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, guys. Hope you enjoy your rest. Thanks again for the exposition. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it's just another Voltorb. I might as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, I like the little shadow. Is it mining then because I'm in ruby? Or is it puzzle? I forget if it's the opposite or the same color in this game. It's a little mining. Hey, little mining. Now, while I think the mining are adorable, I've never had one on my team and I don't plan to now. I don't think they're the best in terms of, like, fighting. But I will certainly catch it. And here's the mining that we caught. Heck yes! Mining is more concerned about cheering on its partners than its own safety. It shorts out the electricity in its body to create brilliant showers of sparks to cheer on its teammates. What a cute little helper. Good job. I approve of that. Well good, so that's two more Pokemon added to our decks. Awesome. I just need an Electric now. <gasps>
Pecker to level 22 and is evolving! What? Alright, time to let Peck grow up a little bit more. <laughs> this is cool, so I'm pretty sure Taylor only has this one evolution. Like I was saying, a lot of birds have three. Some don't, obviously. But yeah, I think Swallow is as high as Peck will go, so there we go. Congratulations, your Peck evolved into Swallow. Good. That'll be pretty cool. So his attack has got to be all that much higher. And already, he's that awesome. Good for him. So we finally caught an Electrike. Alright, Electrike! Electrike stores electricity in its long body hair. This Pokemon stimulates its leg muscles with electric charges. These bolts of, or jolts of power give its legs explosive acceleration performance. Yay! And we caught an Oddish! During the daytime, Oddish buries itself in soil to absorb nutrients from the ground using its entire body. The more fertile the soil, the glossier its leaves become. Yay for Oddish. Alright everyone, say hello to Chispa! The newest member of our team. Um, I favored, or I chose to actually catch a lower level Electrike so I could raise it on my own and see if I could get better stats and all that. Um, hopefully I can, because the other one was actually pretty weak, given that it was like level 20... Maybe it was... Well, it was strictly Tony. Anyway, this one has Lightning Rod. Doesn't have the same cool moves that the other one did, but that's okay. Um, Jispa is, again, a name that I had the same kind of roleplay as Fang. So, yeah, I'm sticking with it. But I'm going to raise Chispa later, off camera. For now, since I have experience there on, um, he will be gaining levels as I battle. But not super... That's not what I meant. I meant Pokemon. But he's not gonna, like, meet up with the others just yet. Hopefully by the next time I start recording. So not the next episode you see, but the next time I start recording. In the meantime, let's have... No, Buck, Buck can stay in the lead for now. I'm gonna give you the item, Amulet Coin, so we can actually make back some money, you know, as we fight. Because I keep forgetting that I have her. Luck and sense, sorry. I keep forgetting that I have that. And it would be good to make some more money. Seeing as we have, like, nothing and we're almost out of Pokeballs. Here we go. <laughs> I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. Well, good for you! Now you're about to be destroyed! Let's see. Pokefan Isabel. Not even holding your favorite Pokemon, just a magazine of Pokemon. That's boring. Oh, Plessel's cute too. Also, Minin appears like crazy in that field. I didn't expect that, but seriously. Alright, we're going to use Flame Charge! And we'll see what happens. Oh, you did it! Good job, Buck! <laughs> Plus, I looked so sad there. Oh, well. Buck grew to level 24! Ha ha ha! Yes, yeah, stats. There you go, you can read them. And no one else. Okay, and a Minin! Oh, if only this were a double battle, then they actually would have worked out pretty well together. But alas, you can't have everything. Alright, so we will quickly finish off this battle. I assume it'll take it one hit. Not quite. Oh, look at mine and hanging in there. Hey, no berries. Well, at least it's not an encore. I could just use a little um, quick ember or whatever to finish it off. So I will do just that. Good. Goodbye, Minin. I'm just excited to see what money we get. I imagine from a Poke fan, not a ton, but it's got to be something, especially with luck and sense, you know? Got to be something. Let's see. Oh dear, this won't do. 1,920, that's pretty good. Okay, I'll live with that. <gasps> what? Little Sap is evolving! Ah! I didn't think this would happen until like, the 30s. Oh, this is cool! Oh, I knew you would do it, Little Sap! I had such faith in you, and here you are, blossoming into a beautiful Breloom. See? Punching! Punching! I knew it! Congratulations, your Little Sap evolved into Breloom. Sweet. Little Sap wants to learn the move Mock Punch. <laughs> However, Little Sap already knows four moves. Yes, we will forget a move indeed. What does Mock Punch do exactly? Let's see. The user throws a punch at blinding speed. Okay, so it's like Quick Attack, but it's fighting. Um, I don't know what power Quick Attack has. I'm just relating it to Quick Attack now. But 40, accuracy 100. That seems pretty good. Um, probably better than Headbutt. I mean, Headbutt is 70 power. Might make flinch. Actually, hmm. But I like Poison Powder and Leech Seed combo. And Mega Drain obviously is good. I need to hang on to that for Giga Drain. So for now, I will replace Headbutt. Again, the attack was good. Actually, I think the accuracy was 100, wasn't it? Um, and it could flinch, which is awesome. But I feel I have to give Little Sap some sort of punch, you know? And that's just cool to me. 
So we're gonna keep that. Maybe you'll give me money. I don't have a bike, so we'll take a leisurely walk on the low road. Oh no, I don't want to do this yet. What's this? Is this the mystery house where you have to find the guy? Three steps right and two steps up to reach the Wonder Street House. One, two, three, one, two. He was right. You're being watched. <laughs> I love this place. I need to just get to like click everywhere, you know? Oh, I actually found him. Huh? Grr. How did you know I concealed myself beneath this desk? You're sharp. This guy's fun. Behold, for I am the greatest living mystery of a man in all of Hoenn. They call me da da da, the Trick Master. Wahahaha! <laughs> Glad to meet you. You, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the skull there and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. One more thing, I have to warn you. My tricks are quite difficult. Don't get lost. I got an escape rope, wow, in case I get lost. <laughs> now I'm really leaving. I shall be waiting in the back. Woohoo! He is magical as well. Not everyone can just crash through their ceiling like that. There's a big hole behind the scroll. Would you like to go in? Yes. Ah, trick house. Good, we get our introduction here. So I'm just supposed to make my way through, I guess. And I guess some fighting trainers along the way. Awesome. Let's see, actually, what level was Baka? What level was Little Sap? Baka's 24, Little Sap. Okay, then I want to instead take your item, give it to Little Sap, and we'll let Little Sap take the lead, seeing as we just barely, you know, like, got him evolved. There we go, he evolved. Cool. Oh, no, no, it went too far. Too far, go back. We need to switch places, guys. Otherwise, it just won't work out. X, X, there we go. Okay. Um, well, here's an entrance. I will take it. That's not an entrance. That was an exit. Where do I start? That would be a good place. Oh, here. Bugger, I didn't get cut yet. I have to backtrack. Someone did it in the t comments tell me where to get it. Um, but I forgot to actually go do that first. So I don't have cut yet. Haha. <laughs> well, we will get there in time. We'll just challenge the trick house later. I know I'm supposed to go right, or at least I can. I want to check out what's left first. Bear with me here. Route 103. That's a happy little place, isn't it? Full of battling. Did you feel the tug of our soul-soothing fragrance? No. Do you have one of those? Let's see. You were challenged by Aroma Lady Daisy. Only one Pokemon. This shouldn't take too long. Roselia. Okay, so none of Little Saps like Poison or Grass Moves would really do any good. So we're just going to go straight ahead and use Mach Punch. Might as well test it out, right? Okay, so for 40 damage, or 40 power, against a not very effective thing, that wasn't terrible. Could be better, but wasn't terrible. I still get healed! Good, I like that ability, I'm glad it didn't go away. And yeah, I'm totally glad now that I fought this person, because now, until I use a Pokemon Center, Little Sab is gonna be healed every turn just due to having, like, been poisoned. It, it, it's nice. It's nice. I love when, um, those bad things actually turn out to be positive. So, yeah. One more mock Punch ought to do it. I mean, for sure. Like, I would be very, very surprised and confused if it didn't. Good. Okay. Goodbye, Roselia. And goodbye, Roma Lady Daisy. After you give me your money. Oh, sorry. She's grew to level 13. And what's learning? Yay, Spark! Good, so he is learning. I don't think he'll learn Thunder Fang in the same time that he did, but, you know, this is good. Gonna get rid of Howl. Because I like Thunder Wave. I think the Leer is better than Howl in terms of like being able to assist teammates too instead of just yourself. And Quick Attack is always helpful. You know. You weren't led astray by our aroma. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad I beat you. Sweet, so with the last two battles, I basically tripled the money that I had. You know, like at the time. Um, fighting, fighting's probably not great. And so since Fang is also level 23, we'll let them go up. I'm assuming this is gonna be a double battle, considering they're both standing there. Yep! Double battle. The two of us fight together as one. I'm Amy, and this is my twin sister, Liv. We're gonna fight you together. Why is it only ever twins? Do they ever just have, like, two best friends challenged you, you know? I don't know. That's what I would do, probably. Just hang out with my friends, have all five of us be like, Hey, yeah, we're all gonna take you on at once. It'll be a quintuple battle. If only we had one more friend. That would make it even more interesting. Well... I can always poison one. 
But then again, I feel like Bite, Fang's Bite might do pretty well. So we're just gonna punch mine in. And we're gonna Bite Plusle and see what happens. That did a good deal. I feel like this might finish him. Yeah, considering I think that Fang is strong... Or at least he got stab bonus with that. No, but you got stab... I don't know. I think Bite is stronger though, attack-wise. Fanger to level 24! Doesn't matter. What matters is it's dead. Fang wants to learn new assurance. I don't remember what that is. I probably don't want it. It's dark though. Let's see. Um, if the target has already taken some damage in the same turn, this attack's power has doubled. Some damage? Um, I can't see many ways that would be useful, except for in double battles. And I don't really like relying on that. However, I'm pretty sure that Fang's physical attack is better than his special attack, and Snarl is special. While I did kind of like it, it might be better to replace Snarl. So I will do that, actually. Hate me if you will, but keep it to yourself. And Minin will just take one more hit of whatever. They don't switch it with me. That would be mean. I guess I tried with Fang, though, because um, Little Seed actually has an item. Unless, of course, it can just fail. Or um, if, like, Minin isn't holding an item, you can't just take an item. You have to actually switch. I don't know. If you guys know how Switcher works and you feel really inclined to educate me, feel free. But it's not super important. Good, level 24. So all of our team is gradually moving up. We lost. We lost, sis. And now you... Only 256? And I was using someone with luck and sense. You were only going to give me like 100 poke? That's insane. Well, you know what? I'm just going to finish off these guys. And then we'll skip ahead to more probably story-oriented stuff. Okay, so now we're on our way under the bike trail or whatever. To actually reach the one place. Smallville City, that place, yes. Um, and from what I recall playing Ruby way back when, if you like surfed here or somewhere in this area, there was like a secret hideout that you could reach, but I don't know if they're gonna have that in this. They do have the Trickster House though, so I'm kind of hopeful that they will have that whole hideout kind of bit. Trainer tips, the order of items can be changed by pressing start on the bag menu. I didn't know that, interesting. Well, I didn't know that's how you did it. I knew there was some sort of sorting, just forgot how. I found some cool Pokemon in the tall grass around here. Good for you, youngster. Are you going to fight me with them? They must not be very strong than youngster Timmy. Alright, Timmy, let's see what we can do to destroy them. I forget, is fighting good against Dark? I feel like it is. Mock Punch! It is indeed good! Not that I needed it, considering they're level 12. We are like 24 and stuff. I think the highest is 25, lowest 24. I think fighting is also good against steel. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Are all of your Pokemon weak against Little Sap? That would be interesting. Just like, what are the odds I have Little Sap out during this fight, you know? Again, not that it really matters considering how low level they are right now. Whatever. And you can say that it's because I have my experience share turned on, but whatever. Stop saying that. To me, it doesn't make the game easier per se, it makes the game faster. Because you could just as easily raise all of your Pokemon up to the same level, it would just take a heck of a lot more time. So if that's what's easier for you, alright, but it's just more convenient for me as a thing. Because I would take the time to raise all my Pokemon to the same level. I'm that kind of trainer where I don't let Pokemon lag behind. So, you know, yeah, that's how I do it. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to avoid battles if I can. Oh, hey, it's me! Alright. Hey, Riz, it's been ages. Not really. Nice timing, too. I was just searching for Pokemon, you know? My dad is always going on about how nature used to be even more diverse. Way back in the day. He says that there used to be way more kinds of Pokemon than there are now. Really? Because we have a lot of Pokemon, especially in later generations. So that's why we do fieldwork, him and me. We really want to find out what happened to those Pokemon in the past. On my journey up to now, I've met a lot of different Pokemon, and I think I've gotten to understand a lot of them, too. Me and my Pokemon have really grown. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. So, how about a little battle? I don't even get to say yes or no. Just immediately thrown into the fight. <laughs> you are challenged by Pokemon Trainer May. All right. A Shroomish, huh? Hmm. That's kind of funny to me. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Again, given the Shroomish is the whole grass deal, I don't want to use any of those moves, so I'll just punch it. 
I am punching your shroom ash. Oh no. Since I'm poisoned, I'll just heal that right up. You hardly gained any health from it. Haha. <laughs> Good. Also, yes, I also know that I have, you know, like, buck for fire damage, but why would I take the time to switch out when I can just as easily do this? It would take the same amount of turns, and I never know what's gonna come up next. So, there's that. Alright, and the Slugma. We will switch for this one, though, because that would not be the best of pairings. Um, down da ba da ba da Fang! I was between Fang and Peck, but I figured Fang is actually lower level, I might as well give him a little bit of a boost. Considering experience share, you know, yeah, it does give a percentage of the experience gained. Oh, I wonder if I'll get decent money for beating May here. I hope so. All right, bite! Cool. Aw, oh, so close. Oh, well. Still didn't do all that much. Um, Ice Fang would probably miss, or like has a higher chance of missing, so I'd rather just use another PP of bite to get that little bit of health down. I do hate, you know, quote-unquote, wasting moves like that, but oh well. And Marsh Tom. For this, we are going to switch back to Little Sap, so that we can Mega Drain it. Ha ha ha. And I don't think it's at Marsh Tom. Maybe it is Marsh Tom, or maybe it's just at Swampert. But at some point, it's Water Ground. So Mega Drain might be, like, super, super effective right now. Also, Marsh Tom looks really weird with its floppy arms. I didn't realize they were that thin. It's weird to me. If you think it's awesome, that is awesome. Go you. We got a little sap grew to level 25. And now we get our money. Good. Well, now we get our money. Fang grew to level 25. Cheese grew to level 15. And now we get our money. <laughs> there we go. Yikes, you're better than I expected. Riz received 1,600 Poke for winning. Good, that'll buy me more Pokeballs and stuff. Mostly Pokeballs is my concern. Riz, you've been busy training too, haven't you? Oops, but look at us. Our teams look pretty tired. Let's get them taken care of first. My team was like, pretty much perfect actually. No, Little Zap, you lost your poison. May, how could you? And now I think you deserve a reward too. Here, this is from me. Riz obtained the dowsing machine, which I never end up using really. Unless it's one of the deck snap features, I probably won't use it. That's a dowsing machine. Try it out. If there's a hidden item anywhere near you, that little thing will react to tell you. Pay attention and it'll lead you right to items. It's a f oh, and it's fun to see all those waving bits around your head or above your head. That seems like it's breaking the wall fourth wall a bit. Try it and I bet you'll be hooked. Careful, you won't be able to sneak up on Pokemon while you wear it. That's weird. See you later then, Riz. Let's meet again. I hope we'll both be able to meet even more Pokemon on our journeys. I hope so, because I still have one spot. You know, on my team, that is. And plenty more spots in my PC. Okay, but I guess since I just barely got the dowsing machine, I might want to use it here, because it'll probably have something just as a little, you know, treat of sorts. So let's register this. And was it this button? It was this button. Oh, you wear it on your head. Okay. Am I getting closer? First off, what is this? I said I won't be able to sneak up on Pokemon. So let's not bother. No, wait, I don't want to do that. I want to find an item. Ha ha ha! I found it. Riz found a great ball. All right, cool. So actually, I think I could just wear this around as often as I'd like and... Unless, you know, I really want to sneak up on Pokemon, it shouldn't really matter all that much, huh? That's kind of cool. Collector Edwin, look at that picture! He's kind of frightening. So I know I skipped it, but when you beat him, his line was, I wanted to complete my collection, dot dot dot. Was he implying that he was going to try to steal my Pokemon? Because that's bad. Virtually all of Gulpin's body is its stomach. As a result, it can swallow something its own size. This Pokemon's stomach contains a special fluid that digests anything. Kind of scary, okay. More berries! Lepaparius, or Lepatrius, two berries? We'll take them, we'll take them all, we'll plant new berries. I might just replant Lepa, I don't know. And then we'll move on. Ooh, Lepa, it can restore 10 PP to a depleted move during battle. I do like this one. We're definitely going to use this one. There we go. 
You watered the soil and now it's nice and damp. So we're free to move on. That means we will go up this way. That is a fancy gate and everything. Wow, yeah, hey. I don't recognize this place. It's weird. Wow, so this is Marvel City. I don't know what it sounds like at all. <laughs> you sure seem to be enjoying it, Wally. So, what would you like to do? Do you want to grab a bite to eat at the Marvel Food Court? I don't recognize this place at all. Or maybe we should get you a bike of your own at Rydal Cycles. Would you like that? I bet the exercise would be good for your health. No, thank you. I want to challenge the gym right away. What? Let me see. I'm pretty sure the gym is... Find me. Look, I'm over here. Yep, straight ahead this way. Just to the inner courtyard. All right. Bye, Wally. Don't see me yet. What? Hey, wait! Wally? Runa! This isn't like you at all, I guess. This is weird. This isn't Marvel City. What have they done to it? It's kind of... I feel like I'm inside a building. Like a mall. And maybe I am. Am I in a mall? If so, I don't really like it so much. Let's see. Well, move tutoring. That's good to know where things are at least. Okay, no. Go away. Stop it. What about you? What are you? Move tutoring studio ultimate. What? Ultimate moves through dance. What? Just, I wanna... Alright! I don't know what that means. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's so weird. Why is it in a mall now? Nah, I don't like it so much. I mean, you know, it's not like awful awful or anything. It's just... Now what I'm used to playing the original game, and so now it's different. Let's see, so is the gym up here? Through the courtyard, right? Yeah, there it is. Uncle, I'm begging you! Really? You don't look like it. Oh, it's moving me. Okay. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! I have to save my battery. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 It's flashing! How long has it been flashing? I don't know. Skip, 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 skip! I need to keep better, pay attention more. I am so sorry that I have to skip all of this. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, this could be bad. Well, let's see what happens. He only has one Pokemon. Hurry up, Wally! Please don't die, DS. Please don't die. 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 Um, sure, Mega Drain. I just gotta do one more Mega Drain, and then quickly skip through all of his text, and then we'll be fine. I get it. Go ahead, little side, quickly. I'm just rapid tapping A now. Oh, please don't die, Diaz. Please don't die. I don't want to do all of that again. It's been an hour and a half. Good? That's great. Ha ha, I beat you, Ollie. Yeah, I'm really strong. You better believe it. Uh, why couldn't I have noticed my battery before I started this whole cutscene? Come on, 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 come on. Again, I'm sorry about all this text. Yeah, it's stronger. I feel like I learned a lot from battle and moments and rolled, so I'm that's why Riz if it's alright, could I could I call you my rival? Oh never mind, sorry, it's nothing, forget I said it. Something like that. Good goodbye. Yeah, sure, we could be rivals. Just thought of me that you must be the young man kept an eye on Wally. Um, thanks. Being positive influence wants you to have this. You got Rock Smash! Awesome! Stupid music. I can smash rocks. So there you go. Now goodbye. If you have the time, I'd love to stop by Verdant Turf and see us at home. Good. Good. Come on. Sa no, not options! Not options! Save. Ah. <sighs> okay. But that means I'm gonna have to call it here before it like completely dies, so we're gonna call it! So with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to have a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I'd love to have you guys. So, until <laughs> next time for my next video. And until then, take care. Q outro, go!